So this is a typical ionic bonding question. Look at the following diagrams of a magnesium atom and an oxygen atom. Describe what happens in terms of electrons when magnesium bonds with oxygen. So pause the video, write down what you would put in an exam and then check back in with the video to see how you got on. So the best way to tackle this question is to look at each atom in turn and describe what needs to happen to the electrons in order to get a full outer shell and be stable. So first of all, looking at the magnesium atom, we can see it needs to lose two electrons to become an Mg2 plus ion. And on some mark schemes, you get a mark of saying loses electrons, another mark for saying it's losing two electrons, and another mark for saying what type of ion it changes into. And there's no harm in saying that it does all of this to get a full outer shell and be stable. The oxygen atom we can see has got six electrons in the outer shell. So in this case, it's going to gain two electrons to become an O2 minus ion. We definitely don't want to be talking about sharing electrons because it's a metal and a non-metal. So we're talking about ionic bonding. Sharing is with covalent bonding. In this case, the word to use is transfers. So two electrons have been transferred from magnesium to an oxygen atom. So question two, match up the following properties of ionic compounds with the correct reason. Pause the video, write down your answers, and then see if you got them correct. The first property, an ionic compound does not conduct electricity when solid. That's because the ions are not free to move. They are fixed in position in the ionic lattice. Second property, an ionic compound does conduct electricity when liquid. So we've either dissolved it in water or it's molten. And that's because now the ions are free to move. They're usually solid at room temperature. That's because they have a high melting point. And the high melting point is because the ions are held in place by strong electrostatic forces that need a lot of energy to break. For more information, be sure to check out my other videos within this playlist. Thanks for watching.